Honestly, I'm really glad Matt is gone. I mean, maybe it's just me, but the house seems so much calmer now. It's not just you. The house is so much calmer now. Oh, okay. Well, at least that was a good game move, right? Symphonia can trust me, at least. So I've got the shadow and whatever weird alliance that Zeus and Poppy and I are in. And, well, I guess Symphonia and kind of Celeste. It was a good choice to be friends with you. I can leech off of your other alliances. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if you're kidding or not. I'm not kidding, but we are friends. Well, I'm glad for that. Maybe it's just because I've talked with Onyx a lot and I pay attention, but in the last head of household competition, I noticed something that nobody else did. Onyx lied about knowing that Annalise and Noelle are friends. Onyx, you buzzed in first. Hey, boo boo. I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. I know for a fact that Onyx is friends with Noelle. I don't know why she would lie about this, but I was going to find out. I never would have guessed I'd be the next head of household. It's kind of the opposite of what I wanted to do. You know, I'm not sure if you had good luck or bad luck. I mean, anybody else in this house would say good luck, but you don't want the head of household, so... I'm just surprised that you got your question wrong. Why? I mean, I guess I'm not the smartest kins in the house. Because you know Noelle? Well, yeah, but... So, did you throw it? Uh, well... Yes, I did. Are you gonna tell me why? Well, you figured it out, so... You really are observant. Yep, it comes with being quiet. You have to pay attention to what people are saying and your surroundings. Quit changing the subject. Why did you throw the question? Because it's a game move. I just got off the block and, well, even if nobody was looking at getting me out, by getting the head of household, I might look like a threat and that's the last thing I want. You're not a threat. I, I figured it'd be safer if you got it. Well. As much as I don't want it, you make a really convincing argument. But you have to promise to help me out. I don't know what the heck to do with this. I don't want to put anybody up. I know. I'm sorry. I'm such a bad friend. Well, it's not like you knew I was going to win it, so don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah, come on. Let's go find Severus. We've got to do some plotting. You're right. Let's figure out who's going to go up in the block this week. Spooky and I don't talk very much for being partners, so I'm very glad that she won the head of household because, well, I don't know if I look like a threat to anybody. If a strong player had won it, they could have been looking to get out a weak player, and I could have been on the block again and maybe out of the house. So at least I can rest easy knowing that I am safe for another week. Hey everybody, who wants to see my head of household room? I was actually pretty excited to see what Miss Spooky's head of household room would look like because she's really quiet and she doesn't really talk much so we don't really know much about her so I'm hoping that by seeing her room we'll get to know her more oh wow wait you only have like two things well yeah I didn't really want much so this is it is that a book oh my gosh is that a vampire book well it's got vampires in it I guess it could be a vampire book. Do you read Twilight? No. Oh. It's called Blood Rites. It's the House of Kamari series by Kirsten Painter. Very good series. Really gets the feels going, actually. Huh, never heard of it. Must be a chick book. Well, a guy could read it if he wanted to. Way to be sexist, Zeus. I, uh, okay. Oh, and a letter. I wonder who wrote me a letter. Dear Miss Spooky, hey, it's Ashley and Avril, your favorite twin friends. Or maybe your only twin friends. It's been hard since we're on tour, but we've made sure to watch every single episode of Webkin's Big Brother 2. We're rooting for you, and we're so glad that you won the head of household. Congratulations and use it well. Make sure to use it to get to the end of the game. We're counting on you to win this season. No pressure, guys. Love you much, and we'll see you soon. Love, Avril and Ashley. Avril and Ashley are two of the biggest 
pop stars in the webkins world. There are rockers, punk, princess cats, and they're awesome singers, and they're some of my favorites. I never knew that Miss Spooky was friends with them. I can't believe she never told us this. This is so cool. I know someone who knows a famous kins. Oh my gosh. Wait, you know Avril and Ashley? Like, THE Avril and Ashley? The pop star twins? Well... Yeah, we went to elementary school together. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I love them. Well, since they're watching the show, now they know that you love them. Congratulations. Oh, I totally forgot. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love them. I love them. I love their music. Me too. I have like all of their albums. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, See what you two did? You had a right to me and I. Everybody knows I'm friends with you. Well, thanks everybody for coming up, but do you guys mind letting me get a cat nap? Sure thing. Great room. Enjoy your book. I'm gonna go get a donut. Well, now there's only three of us, so what can we be? We can't be the Furtastic Four anymore. Not unless we get another partner. No way. We are not bringing somebody else into this alliance. Matt already messed it up for us. He could have exposed us. Okay, so we just need something catchy, like the three Firsketeers. The three Firsketeers. Why not just be the three Musketeers? Because that is so uncreative. Come on, we've all got fur. The three Firsketeers. That's it, guys. It's canon. The three Firsketeers. But, but I didn't vote. Ha! Two against one. The three Firsketeers! We are gonna strike everyone down with our imaginary swords! One for all, and all for one! Or something like that. Why am I friends with you guys? <sighs> okay, it's time to talk strategy. We're in an alliance, and I trust you two. So, what am I gonna do with this HOH thing? Wait, wait, I know this is serious, but... Have you really gotten that far already? Oh, yeah. I'm a fast reader. Wow! Just... Wow! Are we gonna talk strategy? Right! Sorry. Okay, so... What are our options? Well, for partners, we've got two options. Celeste and myself, or Poppy and Zeus. Which I'm assuming you don't want to do. Otherwise, uh, we've got singles. Which is, uh, Symphonia, yourself, and Alejandro. And I think that's it. That's not a lot of options. Yeah, I know. But we have to stop being friendly and start playing the game or we're gonna get nowhere. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Well, I I'd go up as a pawn again if you needed me to. I could go up as a pawn too. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming I'd have everybody's backs. Maybe. I vote no on that. It's too risky. We don't know what everybody thinks about you and Celeste. I am not endangering you, Severus. Okay. I'd be more likely to put Onyx up. It seems everybody likes her. But who with is the question. We don't really have a threat. I could be a threat. Oh, what are we going to do? Well, I may not know much, but... I think maybe they'd be willing to get Alejandro out. Why does this have to be so hard? Why did we have to get out all the good people already? Yeah, I know. We had to be smart this time, didn't we? I know this isn't much help, but if you need me to, I'm willing to be a pawn. I've got two alliances on my side, and I've got Celeste and Symphonia. Well, unless you put one of them up, but it's ultimately your decision. I know we're not much help, but I'm willing to go up, and so am I, even though you don't want me to. But, really, we can do this. We're the shadow. We're secret. We're in the dark. Nobody knows about us. We're more powerful than you think. Don't forget that, okay? You two are great. I'm so lucky to have great house guests like you as my friends. I guess you're right. This is my decision. I'll think over it and I guess you'll find out when it comes time for the nominations. Fair enough. Just know that whatever you decide, we've got your back. 100%. Hello everybody, it is time for the nomination ceremony. As the head of household, I either have to nominate two partners or two singles for eviction this week. As my partner, Snickers is safe from eviction or nomination. Except for singles, only the females of the partners will get their keys 
picked since I am a female. Okay, well, I guess I'll go ahead and pick the first key. Poppy and Zeus, you are safe. Thanks, Miss Spooky. Thank you, Miss Spooky. Symphonia, you are safe. Thank you, Miss Spooky. Onyx, you are safe. Thanks, Miss Spooky. And Alejandro, you are safe. Thanks, Miss Spooky. Okay, well, Severus and Celeste, I have nominated you both for eviction. This was a really hard decision since I feel so warmly towards everybody in the house. We've pretty much evicted everybody who is a problem causer or is really strong. So I just kind of went with my gut. I feel like that Celeste, you and Symphonia are really strong because you're such good friends. And I feel like that could affect my game or someone else's game in this house. Um, Severus, you're really strong too. Uh, you're a good player, so I just decided to nominate you both. I don't really want anybody to get out, but I'm just kind of leaving this at the house's hands this week. So best of luck to you both, and um, yeah, that uh, concludes the nomination ceremony. I'm honestly shocked by Miss Spooky's choice. Uh, I'm not displeased. I just thought she was going to choose Onyx. I'm going to do my best to fight in the veto competition and, um, well, keep myself safe. I really don't want to make her disappointed in me. I want to stay in this game and I want to make her proud. Maybe it's just me, but I kind of feel like the whole house is going after Symphony and I kind of like, not actively, but like, I don't know, maybe more actively that like all the threats are gone. I don't know why they think we're such a threat because we're not even that strong. But apparently Symphonia like getting the head of household last week was a bad thing because now I feel like everybody's gonna come after us. I think that is so unfair. It wasn't really easy putting up Severus since, well, I really like him. I can't believe I just said that. But I really hope that if they stay on the nominations that Celeste goes home. I really want Severus to stay, and I don't want to have to make the awful choice of choosing a replacement nominee, or nominees, I guess. 